YouTube Algorithms Explained 2024. In this video, we delve into the intricacies of YouTube algorithm, or, more accurately, YouTube algorithms in plural. YouTube integrates a variety of unique features into its algorithms, rendering them complex and somewhat mysterious. Like any proprietary algorithms, YouTube doesn't fully disclose its inner workings. However, a broader understanding of internet promotion and marketing algorithms can shed light on YouTube's approach. This understanding is crucial not just for optimizing content for YouTube algorithms but also for leveraging other internet search engines and platforms that can promote your videos. After all, YouTube is not the only platform that can promote your videos. The good old Google search and other search engines can still locate your videos and present them to potential viewers even if they may be less direct and less powerful in promoting YouTube videos. YouTube's algorithms are dynamic, undergoing frequent adjustments and potentially utilizing multiple sub-algorithms simultaneously. Therefore, referring to it in the singular as the YouTube algorithm may be misleading. It's important for content creators to adapt to these changes by adhering to universal internet promotion principles, which remain relevant across various search engines and platforms. Content Discovery Online operates through two primary mechanisms, the pull and push algorithms. The pull algorithm, exemplified by traditional internet search engines like Google Search, aggregates information based on user queries. On the contrary, the push algorithm targets potential interested users by presenting content alongside related searches, on related videos, websites, or through other recommendation avenues. Let's further elaborate on these two mechanisms below. Pull algorithms. In pull algorithms, the user is in control. Pull algorithms work like this. A user actively searches for something using keywords or phrases. Search engines like Google or YouTube then sift through vast amounts of content like videos, websites, or vlogs to find the most relevant matches for the user's query. Example. The user searches for free music on YouTube or Google. It triggers a pull algorithm on YouTube or Google to present suitable videos, blogs, websites, etc., to the user. Of course, YouTube will only display relevant YouTube videos on its platforms. Key Elements SEO, Search Engine Optimization Content creators need to strategically use keywords, descriptions, and other metadata to ensure their content appears high in search results. Relevance the algorithm prioritizes content closely aligned with the user's search terms. Push algorithms. In push algorithms, the platform is in control. Push algorithms anticipate a user's interests and proactively present content to the users. They focus on what they think a user might enjoy, even if the user isn't actively looking for it. Example. YouTube's recommendation engine suggesting videos in your feed based on your viewing history, subscriptions, and trending content. Key elements. User behavior. Data collected on watch time, likes, dislikes, comments, and subscribes help the algorithm curate tailored recommendations. Trending topics. The algorithm may boost currently popular or viral videos in its push algorithm. YouTube push algorithms power areas like YouTube homepage feed, up next suggestions during a video, and the sidebar of related videos, and so on. See more detailed discussion later. YouTube algorithms. An integration of pull and push algorithms. YouTube combines a complex system of pull and push algorithms to determine what content to show its users. General speaking, all SEO algorithms are trying to conduct pull algorithm effectively and then push the search results to potential users. Undoubtedly, Google search is the most successful one. Importance for content creators. Understanding both types of algorithms helps you succeed on YouTube and the internet at large. Optimization. Focus on SEO tactics that help your video show up in searches using relevant keywords, titles, descriptions. Thumbnail. The thumbnail plays a crucial role in both pull and push algorithms due to its ability to attract the attention of potential viewers and influence their viewing decision-making process. A compelling thumbnail can grab the user's attention amidst the list of search results, increasing the likelihood that they will click on the video. We will discuss more on the importance of thumbnail later in this video. Engagement. Encourage likes, comments, subscribes, and longer watch times. This data signals to the push algorithms that viewers find your content interesting. Be adaptable. YouTube algorithms are revised and update frequently. Stay updated on best practices and tailor your content strategy as needed. 
We update this video series periodically, so make sure to subscribe to this channel for regular updates. For a limited time period, channel subscribers can email us at ytinsmarttechs at gmail.com to request private videos or playlists at no cost. YouTube employs its algorithms to promote content creators' videos. While YouTube does not formally reveal the inner workings of these algorithms, it displays numerous metrics related to each video under the analytics section in the YouTube studio. These metrics can help us understanding the inner workings of the related algorithms and allow the content creators to understand and make improvement on the video. YouTube's traffic sources can be broadly categorized into external and internal sources. A. Traffic from external sources, which is traffic come from outside of the YouTube platform. YouTube further categorizes external traffic into external sources and direct or unknown sources, defined as follows. External sources. Traffic from websites and apps embedding or linking to your YouTube video. Direct or unknown sources. Traffic from direct URL entry, bookmarks, signed out viewers, and unidentified apps. The distinction between these two categories can be vague, leading to potential miscategorization. The traffic from these two categories is likely due to search, which is pull algorithm, directly or indirectly. B. Traffic from within the YouTube platform. YouTube offers more clear definitions for internal traffic. Below are definitions for commonly displayed categories. Browse features. Traffic from home, subscriptions, watch later, trending, explore, and other browsing features. Suggested videos. Traffic from suggestions next to or after other videos, and from links in video descriptions. Channel pages. Traffic from your or other YouTube channels. End screens. Traffic from creators' end screens. Video cards. Traffic from a card in another video. Campaign cards. Traffic from content owner campaign cards. Notifications. Traffic from notifications and emails to subscribers. Shorts. Traffic from the shorts vertical viewing experience. Playlists. Traffic from any playlist featuring your videos, including others or your playlists, and users, liked videos, and, favorite videos, playlists. YouTube search. Traffic from YouTube search results, detailed in the traffic source, YouTube search card of the reach tab. YouTube advertising. Traffic when your video is used as a YouTube ad. In the above metrics, only YouTube search is related to the pull algorithm. The rest of them are related to the push algorithms. In these push algorithms, only some are under the control of the content creator, and the rest are controlled by YouTube platform algorithms. The importance of keywords and thumbnail. Why keywords are important whether YouTube uses it or not. The thumbnail plays a crucial role in both pull and push algorithms due to its ability to attract the attention of potential viewers and influence their decision-making process. Here's why thumbnails are important in both scenarios. Pull algorithm, that is, search, in the pull algorithm, users actively search for content using keywords or phrases. When search results are displayed, thumbnails accompany the titles and descriptions of videos. A compelling thumbnail can grab the user's attention amidst the list of search results, increasing the likelihood that they will click on the video. Thumbnails act as visual cues that provide users with a glimpse of what to expect from the video, helping them make a quick decision about whether it aligns with their interests. Push algorithm, that is, recommendations, in the push algorithm, the platform anticipates user interests and suggests content accordingly, often in places like the homepage feed, up next, suggestions, or the sidebar of related videos. Thumbnails play a critical role in this scenario by enticing users to click on recommended videos. They serve as visual triggers that prompt users to explore content they may not have actively searched for. A visually appealing thumbnail can significantly increase the likelihood of a video being clicked on, as it captures the user's attention and sparks curiosity about the content. In both cases, thumbnails serve as powerful tools for content creators to attract viewers and drive engagement. By creating eye-catching and relevant thumbnails, creators can optimize their videos for both pull and push algorithms, ultimately increasing their visibility and reach on the platform. Push algorithms are designed to serve the viewers, rather than the content creators. This is particularly true on YouTube platform. Due to this design intent, it may create an interesting but not amusing situation. Let's say even if YouTube algorithms have done their best and provided totally valid information for both the viewers and the content creators, it's not uncommon for a video to be pushed to very misaligned viewers. 
This is further complicated by the fact that the YouTube algorithm may not gather information on the video viewer and content creator sides correctly and effectively. So, on YouTube controlled push information, it can look like a random match at best. But no matters, YouTube as a platform can still claim it works and it actually works, do you know why? What is YouTube's secret weapon? Please leave what you think in the comments below. Hope you find this video informative and useful. Please subscribe to this channel for anytime access to this and other videos. As a subscriber, you can request private videos or playlists by emailing us at ytandsmarttechs at gmail.com. That's all for today. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.